Very tight squeeze. Right. You know what? Let's just get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of all of this. Okay, so we're redesigning this area just a little bit. And we're going to split it like five ways. So put the merger like... This way. Oh no, merger goes here. Right? It's the splitter that's supposed to go here. And splitter goes here. Like, I'm not doing any math here whatsoever, so... It's not going to be the most efficient split, but the important thing is that it is splitting. Like, it would probably be objectively better to just strip everything out and then redesign it from scratch, but I really don't want to do that. It takes a long time. Even though I do have time to the kill here. But I'd rather do like other things. So we just work it like this. Let's paste. Pasted. Just get these working first. And of course, I'm stupid. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? Look at this. Forgot to smelt it. Okay. So let's try this again. Smelter. Yo, let's put a smelter behind every single one of these. Again, not that efficient, but it's a job done. And make sure these connect as well. Oops. Melter goes. Is snapping? Yes, it is. So we're going to have this very compact setup.
Then we're gonna split this a little bit further. Going this way. And then we'll do the other side here. Here, this goes here, this goes here, and there we go. And maybe if we absolutely need to, we can just overclock this. Except we, oh, you're not smelting. Need how are you not powered up? Wow! Also forgot to do this. It's like I've been relying on the blueprint so long that I forgot to connect the machines to the powered lines and I'm out of cables. Jeez. Take that rock. Making me forget stuff. You know, can I get, like, cables from here? Yeah, let's just interrupt this for the time being. And... Oh. Like, my inventory is full of iron ore. Let's go through the gas area. Breathe that all in. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's just dump this all in. Or better yet, why don't I just put all the stuff in here? Give mingots while we're at it. This is exactly why I do it this way. So I just have to overclock the miners in order to get more production instead of like having to build out more stuff. But anyway, we do need to connect all of this to this main line now. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, hey. Got some production over here. Should I even rework this area? Because there isn't that much room anymore. Can we like add a third one here or something? Like, yeah, there isn't even enough room. So let's just do this. Unless I want to push this back, which I don't. But actually... There is something I can do. Put this, like, right over here.
And that's iron ingots. And this is for iron plates. And then we'll just overclock this. That's melting. That's making... And we can just do it like this. Do we even need to upgrade the iron rods? Okay, we need mergers going this direction. You know what, let's swap out to uh, MK3s. Actually, I probably could replace this with MK3s instead of the MK4s at this point. Let me just hook this up first. Yeah, this really doesn't need the MK4s, does it? Well, maybe this does. So, we'll leave it like that. But everything else can just be like MK3s. You know, at the very least, I can upgrade and downgrade as well. It makes it very easy to do exactly that. Oh, these are already MK3s. So, I guess it's fine. Oh, this needs to be upgraded. But yeah, there we go. I just realized... What is this? These are MK3s. These are MK3s. Is the bottleneck the conveyor belts? Maybe. Guess we can make this a little bit faster. Yeah, it's going much faster now. Wait, shouldn't these be MK4s? Damn. Alright. Yeah, make them MK4s until they split off. There. At least go much faster now. But something doesn't seem right here. Yeah, something's horribly wrong here. That's what's wrong. Wow. Uh, 
And there's nothing wrong here, but... Yeah, that... Conveyor belt that was un upgraded, that was horrible. But it's all good now. It's, everything's getting stuffed with screws. And... This is going... Yeah, okay. So, everything's working here. Got 23 coupons. That's nice. So, all of these are just going to be stored in here. So, we dealt with that bottleneck. Now, let's go back up here. Check on the modular engines again. If we still don't have enough, I'll go to the oil processing area. And we have... We're like halfway there, so... Okay, let's reload. And what do I want to do is get some more... Like... Uh, what is it called? Storage is up and running. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. I probably should stock up on the reinforced iron plates as well. I only need two. We'll do that. Alright, so eventually we're going to get to phase four. In the meantime, all I'm really doing is just improving any everything that I can improve. Like, I'm not going to bother putting down the MK4s for this line over here because we're almost at MK5s anyway. So, might as well just save the resources, save the MK4s for the aluminum producing area. And I guess I can also improve our aluminum... Or not the aluminum, the encased industrial beams. Like, I need to, like, continue improving that. Even though all I'm really using it for is the heavy industrial beams. And for building the conveyor lines. But once I have aluminum sheets, all of that gets freed up. And all of that... And I'm actually going to make a thing that... Where I can put the... A storage where I can put both the steel beams and the encased industrial beams uh, have it converted into encased industrial beams and put it into the line for that that way all of it when I retrieve all of the uh, conveyor belt material I can just put it into heavy industrial heavy modular frames I should say if that makes sense I'm like stumbling over my words because words are hard But anyway, what I'm trying to do here is basically keep this running. Like, I just want to get more storage for this, just so that there's, like, no bottleneck here. Like, we're gonna need all of that plastic and rubber anyway, so might as well just have this stuff converted. Oh, probably should also... Oh, I should have brought over some more black powder before I came here. But... Probably gonna bring more of this back anyway. Oh, and another thing. Probably should check on the power. Like, what's up here? Yeah, we're... So we're still charging. This thing's still being charged. All of our batteries still charging. Maybe I can, like, build a few more extra. But anyway, let's do what we came here to do first. Just so that I don't forget. But it looks like all of that heavy oil is now being turned into fuel. Actually, yeah. So this is running nicely. Yeah, no problems here.
And I'm gonna put the storages like over here somewhere. So what I want to do here is just make this. This one. It died. It's the wrong way. Flip this around. One. Two. Leave a little space for the conveyor belt. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So this is just for plastic. Is it overkill? The answer is yes. But might as well make it overkill. That way I don't have to worry about storing excess plastic and rubber. I can just make it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And that's eight. Okay. I'm going to need both of these conveyors connected here. And actually, oh, it should just be MK3s. Because I am out of encased industrial beams because I forgot to bring them. Uh, I guess that's okay. Like, again, we're going to need that for the to space the aluminum. All right. The plastic in here. And then rubber up top. Do that. Now the reason I stagger it like this is because for some reason if I put it right on top of it, it's actually going to snap to the splitter and not to the conveyor line, so then it doesn't work. Connect it like this, and this. So now, all the storage over there is going to empty out into these things. Now we just need to reconnect the lines here. We need mergers for that, not splitters. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. It's like... It go. It actually snaps on top of the other merger instead of going on the conveyor line. So that's why I stagger it like this. All right. So it's now put into the back into the conveyor line. So uh, one, two. Or splitter or merger. So we're going to snap it back onto here.
and goes like this. There we go. In fact, I just realized this is... This probably should be the smart splitter, shouldn't it? Do this again. Okay. Smart splitter. Three and four. Okay, it's going in this direction, so the right output is overflow. This way it doesn't interrupt the main line here by splitting it off into this thing. So it's... If this gets backed up, then it just flows into here instead of like... You know, interrupting this. So we need, need to set all of these to overflow on the right side. And there we go. So those storages will empty out. And we're pretty much done here. Oh, before I go... Uh, let's get the smokeless powder. Just bring it back to base.